In a previous video, I showed you a Discord server that you couldn't leave. Now, the only way that you would actually get hooked into this server is if you fell for a scam. However, imagine a Discord server where all you had to do was just join the server and you wouldn't be able to leave. Well, let me introduce you to Jail83B6. Now, before I go any further, I just want to say that everything that I'm about to tell you is against Discord's terms of service. In fact, the person behind this account, this account is terminated. But let me just show you. So I try to leave the server. I click on leave. I'm clicking on leave, I continually click on leave, and it nothing happens. In fact, even if you have admin permissions and you try to ban me off this server, I will not be able to leave. Every single poor soul in this Discord server is unable to leave. Now, I actually did get contacted by the person behind this, and they kind of explained how it worked, but I needed to figure out what was going on first, because the details were uh, few and far between, so I need to do a little bit of my own investigation. And of course, I installed better Discord, and this is all against the terms of service of what I'm doing here. Do as I say, not as I do. Uh, don't do any of this. But if I turn on show hidden channels, once again, do as I say, not as I do, you'll see a whole bunch of channels. In fact, there are a lot of channels. And if I just keep on scrolling, it, it just doesn't stop at this point. Even if I zoom all the way out in Discord, there's still a lot of scrolling. And once again, I'm zoomed in, so it's a little bit different, but there are a lot of channels. And when I click on this channel, <laughs> but when I click on this channel, <laughs> you might notice there's something a little wrong with it. In fact, the, the, the guidelines of the channel is just a whole bunch of stuff. And in fact, if I, once again, using better Discord, this, this stuff ain't a lot. If I right click on a channel and I click on permissions, you'll see see that there's even more stuff going on. In fact, the channel name is just all this stuff, the same stuff repeated. And this is because there's some sort of cool uh, character UTF thing. I'm not going to get too technical because I know half of you don't really entirely care. We only care about the stuff that stupid people like myself can see. But as you can tell, everyone can't see this channel. But we have this role called AAAAAAA just spammed all the way across. And it also has a whole bunch of permissions that it can't do. In fact, there are a whole bunch of this AAA role. As you can see, I keep on scrolling and it's just like there's so many of the same role and they don't have permissions. In fact, this is for every single channel. And what is going on here is basically the server is being rate limited. When you do things on the internet like Discord, you know, if you send a message, if you keep spamming a whole bunch of messages, Discord will tell you, whoa, stop spamming for a second. And that's because you are being rate limited. You're only allowed to do a certain amount of things within a specific period of time. So this server is basically being spammed. It, it gets spammed and it just can't do anything anymore. And that's why you can't really leave the server because when you try to leave, that's like sending a message. It's sending a message to Discord. But since the server is being rate limited, you can't do that. Now, your inevitable next question is, how do I do this? How do I set this up? Well, first, I want to say that doing this is against Discord's terms of service. Like I said at the start of the video, the account that is behind this server that you can't leave has been terminated because it's technically spamming the API with a whole bunch of things. And what is it spamming the API with? Well, first off, what happens is that the server owner starts off by making a whole bunch of Discord roles with a very long name. So just A spammed over and over again, and you have a color applied to it. Now, the permissions of these roles are actually pretty straightforward, and they have this as a linked role just because of Apparently it works better. I don't know, some magic fairy dust. Then what happens is that they create a form channel with this, once again, very long name. If I right click permissions, oh goodness, it's, it's way too zoomed in, fellas. As you can see, this name is extremely long and the description is extremely long as I pointed to 30,000 times. So they create a whole bunch of these channels and it starts to lag out Discord a little bit. But what they do is make it even worse because they, in their audit log, as you can see, there's this automated action of them changing the channel overrides for every single channel. And what overrides are they changing? Well, a little bit more details. You could see that they denied permissions for create, invite, manage channel, manage roles. Basically, what they're doing is that they're giving that specific spammed A role a whole bunch of permissions. And then in the channel overrides, they disable all those permissions. And they do that for every single one of those roles. Once again, permissions, every single one of these A roles that are just completely spammed and impossible to see because of color contrast, every single one of these are getting their permissions shifted. And just keep in mind, that was for one channel. Just them changing the rules for one channel. And there are a whole bunch here. <laughs> Once again, there is an absolute boatload of these channels. So at some point, Discord's little API limits and their whole coding system is going to see this. And they're like, this server's asking for way too much. We got to stop them from doing all this stuff. So they will rate limit the server. And like I said before, when it's rate limited, you 
cannot leave. And just to show you that I'm not messing with you, right? What I did is I basically just copied the invite. So I right click invite people, copy the invite. And then I'm in a kind of different Discord account, right? I'm going to add a server. I'm going to join a server. I'm going to join the server that I just got the invite link from. Join server. And guess what? Oh, I got to check if I'm human again. There we go. So as you can tell, when I clicked on join server, this menu didn't just disappear. It looks like I didn't even join the server. And sometimes it actually errors out and says, oh, unable to join server. But if you see in the background, you see those lines. And those lines are the jail server that I just joined. Because I did, in fact, join a Discord server. But Discord kind of didn't entirely recognize it. It didn't just close the menu. And it didn't show me the server. However... If I click on jail, I am now a part of jail. And when I try to leave server, leave server, it's not happening. So you should easily be able to see why I didn't join on my main account, because if I did, I'd be stuck in here and I would not be able to leave. So before I head off and give you a nice, beautiful goodbye kiss, I want to point out a couple of things. First off, this is not a permanent solution. So if you type in like a secret password, then no one can leave your Discord server forever. In fact, there's a program running on the server creator's computer, and basically all it's doing is automating those permission changes and stuff to keep the server kind of locked down and rate limited by Discord. So if they decide to stop, or if Discord bans their account, which is what happened, then after three or so days, you should be able to leave. So once again, not a permanent solution. Now, while I was editing this video, I decided to look on my alt account and see, am I still in the server? And uh, no, just kidding. I still actually am in the server because you see this red exclamation mark. One other server is unavailable due to a temporary outage. You know, all that crap I was talking about with the whole bunch of channels, different roles, the massive channel names, all that stuff, and it being spammed constantly actually made the Discord server crash. And now, now, you might think, I am free from the jail server. But no, in fact, I am actually not. I cannot leave the server. I can't just right-click it and leave. I can right-click any other server and leave. But since the server is down, I am now 100% unable to leave it unless the whole entire server gets terminated by Discord. And the thing is, is that this will remain for four days, apparently. That's what I heard from the person that made this, that if they keep on spamming it, the server will crash, and you won't be able to leave for four days before Discord will reboot the server, and then from there, they have to run their little script so that you still cannot leave. And another weird thing that just completely blows my mind, I mean, I would consider myself educated, I went to college, and this still doesn't make any gosh darn sense, because apparently, if a whole bunch of people join the server, then sometimes a couple people can leave. So, I don't know, maybe it's a corrupt jail or something. <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I, I would, like, explain it to you if I could, but I just have no idea. This is well beyond anything my brain could possibly comprehend. Anyways, chances are when this video gets uploaded, this server will not exist anymore because once again the server owner's account got disabled by discord it got terminated so this whole entire server will be gone and the thing is is that this is kind of like it's funny you know you can't leave a discord server but discord will probably patch it because they have to watch my videos i feel really bad for you guys i'm sorry anyways bye bye i love you Mwah.